is Nancy with Nancy's Beauty Channel and uh, today I know I look like I'm freezing in a sweater but um, it is kind of cold in the apartment today so I figured well why not just let me put a sweater on. Anyway today what I'm going to show you is how to make a soup and I have someone who asked me about you know making this Chinese soup uh, that's good for your health and um, so I'm going to show you and this name of the soup is going to sound a little funky um, but it's not as bad as it sounds. Okay, so the name of the soup is called Kanch Monkey Head Mushroom Soup. Okay, so Kanch, we know what it, that is, right? Uh, as far as monkey head, that's the name of a mushroom. Okay, so that's the Kanch Mushroom Soup. And that is supposed to be good for your uh, good digestion and also build up strong kidney. So that's what the soup is good for. Uh, if you're like me and you don't want to go and have to look for all the ingredients, I normally buy the packets. Uh, these packets, like this one here, has all the ingredients that you would need to make that soup. All you have to do is get your pork and your chicken. And all this is the ingredients you need that uh, brings in that delicious flavor of the soup. Okay, so what is this actually? Okay, this soup contains uh, the following ingredients. And that is the mushroom monkey head, of course. Um, also the dry conch, uh, Chinese yam, lotus seeds, pearl barley, and um, sweet dates. So those are the ingredients. Uh, these ingredients, however, you can't just go ahead and cook it. You have to like soak it in water, salt water that is. So I'll give you the instructions um, coming up. And, uh, and I will also uh, make a copy of this at the end of the video so you can take a look at the brand and also uh, what the ingredients are in the back. Where do you get this? Okay, so most Chinese supermarkets will have packets of soup. Might not necessarily be this one, but they have all kinds of soup. And, um, and pretty much a uh, majority of them taste great, except the herbal ones are a little strong and uh, takes a little getting used to. But uh, this one tastes good though. Um, so this one, where did I buy it? I normally like to buy packets of these from Hong Kong. Yeah, from Hong Kong. So whenever I go to Hong Kong, I buy the zillion packets of these and have it at home. So whenever I want to make that soup, I have it here. Okay, and I keep it in the fridge to keep it fresh. Uh, even though, you know, sometimes they say, oh, it expired by this date. So you want to keep it as fresh as possible. Um, it's normally still good, even though it's after the expiration date. Um, so I keep it in the refrigerator, keep it as long as possible. And uh, the, soup, the soup is really good. So when I'm in Hong Kong, I not only this one, I buy different brands. Well, I'm sorry, not different brand, this brand, but I buy different types of soup. Um, so this one is really good. Um, if you don't want to buy packets, um, if you have the ingredients here that I'm gonna list, you can go to any Chinese supermarket and get those ingredients and make your own soup. But I just tend to be lazy, so I have everything pre-packed. Just go ahead and boil my soup. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this is done. And just to make things quick and simple, I've already bought my pork and my chicken, fresh chicken. Uh, pork, the bones of the pork, and I had them chopped up, and I had already did the pre-work, meaning that I'm going to boil it in uh, hot water, you know, just so that all the, um, the, the dirt and, and, and um, uh, I can't even think of that word right now, but you know what I'm talking about, so to get all that out. And even including the chicken, after I cleaned out the skin, take off the fat, I also kind of put in that same boiling water just to you know, to all the dirt out off of it. Um, anyway, that I'm gonna, I already did, so I have that set aside. But right now, what I'm gonna show you is how to soak these and for how long. Okay, here we are. Uh, here you see the ingredients. I took this out from the packet. And um, here on the right, you see these white, these are yam. Then you see the barley seeds and the lotus seed. Um, so this one requires um, 150 ml of water, including two spoons of salt, and let us soak for at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Here in the middle, we have the monkey head mushrooms. That we need to soak for at least 15 minutes, and then squeeze out all the water from the mushroom and re-soak one more time. And as far as on the left, you will see that large piece right here, which is the conch. 
Uh, we just rinsed it and washed it just to make sure it's clean. I believe these are the dates. And these are the uh, white fungus. So right now what we're doing is we're waiting for the uh, barley and uh, yam to soak in 15 minutes for the mushroom. So now we're waiting for the water to boil and all the ingredients to soak up. And uh, we want to put the pork in the boiling water. And also, um, here's a trick. With this soup, it says uh, you can use uh, pork shank, okay, or chicken, either one. What really tastes good is if you put both items together, pork and chicken, okay? Because when I went to um, buy this uh, at that supermarket, they actually made it so you can actually taste the soup there, and they had used pork and chicken. So I asked, I said, um, do you make it with just pork or, or which one? Because it says either or. Um, so I said, this tastes good, so I wanted to know, and they had made it with both chicken and pork. So, I make all my soups with chicken and pork for the flavor. So, you might want to try that. So, here are my pork and chicken that I already cleaned up and uh, prepared way ahead of time. <laughs> okay, so I just put in all the chicken and pork in the pot of water to uh, heat up the, the soup. And then I'm going to take all the ingredients that I have and I'll add it on to the soup. Okay, so now I'm going to add in the ingredients. So this was the uh, yam, white yam, barley, and uh, lotus seed. These are the lotus seeds. So I rinsed them out in that salt water already. So I'm going to add all this into the soup. This is the monkey head mushroom. So as you can see, I already soaked it and squeezed out the water of it, out of it. And um, this monkey ear, I'm uh, sorry, not monkey ear, monkey head soup. Um, when you put it in boiling, uh, not boiling water, but soak in water, it becomes yellowish. And then you squeeze that water out and then you put it in water again. So now the water's kind of clear. So I'm, this is pretty clean. So I'm gonna put that into the soup. And then the next one is conch, a slice of conch and these white lotus. And then lastly, dates. These are Chinese dates. They're um, supposed to be like, um, you know, give some sweetness to the soup. So there you have it. This is the soup. And we will have to let it simmer for about two and a half hours. Uh, once this boils up again, I'm gonna let it uh, lower it so it can simmer for two and a half hours. And we'll see how that looks like then. But it'll be very tasty. Now it's about three hours or so later, and the soup is looking good. And I had tasted it, it's actually tasting very good.